Welcome guys to another episode of Midwest Duckman. If you guys know I'm Tyler and today we are on our way to the Big Marsh and uh, a nice big cold front's moving through. It's decently windy but uh, hopefully the ducks are on the move. Hopefully this wind gets them up and it puts them right in my lap. I'm hoping to make a comeback from a few days ago where I shot that, that green head but he didn't go down. That still bothers my mind completely because I'm shooting a full choke. But anyway, uh, hopefully the birds will, will cooperate and we'll hopefully limit out. So you guys stay tuned and uh, hope you guys are excited for the video because I'm excited to go on it. So I'm all set up now. Got two dozen out there, kind of in a, uh, in a U shape. Mojo out there. Oh. Joe. Hopefully you guys can hear me pretty well. It's pretty windy out here. Probably like 15, 20 mile an hour winds. Put my glove on. But uh, as I came in, I jumped up one mallard. I was a hen. But uh, yeah, hopefully it's going to be a good hunt. Um, conditions are perfect for duck. But I think it's funny to most people when they think, you know, 31, 32 degrees and it's super windy. They're gonna stay inside. But uh waterfowl are duck hunters, like nah. I'm going duck hunting. I'm gonna go stand in, in the water and freeze, go kill some ducks. So yeah. Stay tuned guys and uh enjoy the rest of the hunt. Oh, that was crazy. That's my first mallard. Like, first green head. Yes! Let's uh, let's go find him real quick. I'll come back to you guys whenever I get to him. Oh. Look at that green head. Oh, that's a big duck. Oh. Band? Nope, no band. Look at that mallard, boys. Look at that mallard. Whew. Look at that, look at that. You ever seen a more beautiful sight? Let's, uh, let's get back in the reeds and uh, shoot another one. Or three more. Two more green heads would make it awesome. So weather update. Um, it's starting to snow, so that's a thing. I've got another two hours in the marsh, so we're gonna stick it out. And see if another group of mallards come in. That's that's, that's my my first mallard. I'm, I'm excited. I'm so happy right now. Wish I could have shot this. I don't know two <laughs> since I got an over under. Wouldn't nice to drop two, but you know I'm happy with one. At least one dead duck is better than no dead duck. Hopefully, uh, these birds cooperate some more and we get some more birds done. Ooh, I got some right there.
everywhere. I see my duck right here. Ooh, that's a nice deep hole. What are ya? Nice green wing. Green wing teal. You guys that it's a little uh little graphic not a found though it's always good when you find a bird I shot this green thing. I got snow in my ball. We'll take a look at him a little, a little bit. Hands are cold. Ah. Whoo! Boy, howdy. Let's uh. Boom! My my battery's dying. When some more ducks come in, I'll turn the camera back on. Looks like another green wing that dropped into, literally dropped into my spread. He looks like a decoy, which is kind of funny. I don't know if I should kill him or not. Killed him. Right when someone calls me. Hopefully you guys can hear me pretty well. So uh, I finally got back up to the Yukon. Got that Midwest Duckman decal on the back. And uh, ended up with one Mallard, one Drake Mallard, uh, two Drake Green Wing, a Hen Green Wing, and a Hen Blue Wing. Uh, I'll, I'll show you guys ducks when it, the, the ducks whenever I get home. I'm freezing, as you guys can tell. It's snowing, so I shot my first mallard when it was snowing, which is intense. This thing saved my life. My, I'm surprised I didn't lose a finger. But uh, stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna get back to the house and I'll show you guys the kill of the day. Okay, guys, so we finally made it back to the house. Uh, I, Brandon just came over and he's gonna film this last portion of the video. So uh, overall, we had one mallard drake, uh, two drake green, green wings, a green wing hen and a blue wing hen. I'd say for hunting in the snow, this wasn't bad at all. Uh, this is the closest I've ever been to a limit. But uh, I, I had a blast out there, but I did something to my back, I don't know. Um, kind of tweaked it so I can barely lift with, with my left arm. But uh, yeah, thanks guys for joining me on this hunt. Uh, I might do another hunt tomorrow evening and I'm just going to give you a quick sneak peek of what's going to be happening for this weekend. Yes. And if you look, it's Bass Tracker. So, this is a sneak peek for what we're going to try to do. Turn a bass boat into a duck boat. Uh, it, I got some stuff coming in Friday to complete it. And then we're going to hunt out of it. But, uh... Like I said guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe, subscribe to Midwest Duckman. And as always, hunt smart, hunt safe, and I'll see you guys in the next hunt.